Hey, hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this problem, solve the Sudoku from GFG and it is hard level problem. So it is a very standard problem of backtracking and recursion where we have been given a Sudoku and we have to try to solve it. And if it is not any, no solution is possible, then we will just return false. Uh, okay. Next, just the basic rules of a Sudoku that each row should have all the digits from 1 to 9 and they should occur only exactly once. And similarly in a column and inside a each 3 cross 3 block. So this is it. Let's quickly uh, write the code. So what we can do is start by running uh, like iterating through the board. And since the board size is 9 cross 981, so we can just uh, start from 0 comma 0 every time. The recursion is called because uh, it won't matter that much and we don't need the complexities of in passing the index and then writing the base cases as well. So yes, I will just have two nested loops for the row and j for the column. Fine. Now what? Now if the number is already filled, so there will be some number inside that. And if it is empty, the grid at that index will be marked with 0. So we need to fill that. So we will first check if grid uh, grid at ij is equal equal to 0 then only we have to solve it now what we can fill it with any number between 1 to 9 so we will just try to fill it with each of the possible numbers so k goes from 1 up till 9 so this is the third loop here and now so how we will check whether we can write we can fill 1 or 2 or 3 uh, like whether we can fill k here or not so for that we will write another test case so we will just set is valid and we will pass our row number column number and the number we want to fill along with the grid to that function and if it is valid we will just fill it with our number and move on to solve the matrix ahead so we will just call the function again solve sudoku with the grid now what so suppose i fill uh, one here and it looks valid to me but after uh, afterwards i found out uh, i find out that no possible solution is there for uh, a board with one written here so i need to change it with some other valid number so what that is what backtracking is so basically we will just uh, reset the number to zero if after filling one here the board is not getting solved so what i am trying to imply here is i will not just call it but also check if after filling k at this position we are able to solve this sudoku so if we get true then it's well and fine and we will just return true otherwise we need to backtrack backtrack in the sense is that we will reset our grid with zero so k is not a possible solution for this uh, position even though it was valid now what if uh, after trying all the nine numbers it should get passed somewhere this function should get passed somewhere and if it does not get passed for any of the nine numbers we cannot fill the tenth number so basically if we do not return true from here we will just come out of the loop after trying all the nine possible digits and we will just say that no possible solution was there for current index and we return false so this is how we do it now at the end if uh, we do not have any number that was zero and everything was well and fine we have filled all the indexes so we will just come out of this all these loops without returning anything so we will return true by default that means our sudoku is solved now what remains here is this function is valid so is valid can be written here where I need a row, I need the column, then I need the number, and finally I need the Sudoku itself. So n cross n. Okay, so three things we need to check. We will check for each row, each column, and then each sub boxes. So each row, each column, or each sub box has nine uh, number of elements. So we will just uh, iterate from 1 to uh, from 0 to 9 so for 
and the i equal to 0 i is less than 9 i plus plus now first of all we'll check in the current row it if it is valid so current row current row how we will check it so current row means if we have the uh, like we will fix our row the row is fixed and we will iterate throughout the row from 0 to 9 and if we find the number k that means it already occurs in that row and we cannot fill it so we want to return false and say that this k is not valid in this position and we will just uh, get a false here and we will go to the next k in a very similar way we will have current column so if grid i must see so i am fixing the column and going from the 0th row to 8th row uh, on zero based indexing and if it is return uh, equal to k then again we return false now for the current sub box so just like we did uh, in the daily challenge of today's question on lead core here also we will make use of i along with the row and column number to iterate through a sub box so how to get the indexes so our row number can be divided by 3 so if it is between 0 to 2 we get this this sub block if it is between 2 to 5 then we get this sub block and if it is between uh, 6 to 8 then it is the last one so this tells us that we get the starting position of our row uh, by dividing the row by the number of uh, like divided and dividing it by 3 so r divided by 3 this will give me the uh, block like if we uh, divide it into 3 parts then we will get which of these uh, blocks our uh, sub box is in now how to get the exact number of the uh, exact number of the row so we will just add i divided by 3 so i will be running from 0 to 9 so if it is uh, between 3 like 0 to 2 then it is first row then anything between 3 to 5 is second row and anything between 6 to 8 is third row so we get 1 0 1 or 2 by dividing i by 3 and we need to then uh, shift it by 0 1 or 2 depending on the block number so this is the shifting part and this is the row part Similarly, we will have the column as well. So it will be the column numbers divided by 3. So column numbers divided by 3. And uh, so to get the exact column number, we will modulus it with. Uh, we will modulus i by 3. i by 3. Fine. And we will check if it is not equal to k. Like if it is equal to k, that means it already occurs. And we will return false. Now, if after checking all the nine positions of each row, each column, each sub boxes, we do not find any k in them, we will just return true. Okay. And as a final step, we need also to complete this function. So this is just two loops. Okay. J is less than nine. J is less. And what we need to see out grid i j and a space and that is it let's compile okay what did i get is no solution exists so if if, if 0 to 9 grid i j equal equal to 0 and then k is equal to 9. So here the question gives me 0, 1 or 2 and this also gives me 0, 1 or 2 and then if we add the exact row number or the column number into it. So we are not getting into this position if suppose 1 plus uh, I want to come to this position. So if 1 plus uh, 0 will give me this position not this position. So we basically need to multiply the quotient by whatever uh, by 3 so that we have the exact number to shift and similarly in the column as well so this was the problem i guess uh, 
yes now let's submit it okay it gets accepted and this was all for this hard level question hope you like the solution see you tomorrow